Welcome to this episode of Eagle Air TV. I'm Hendrik Strott. And I'm Wilbur Heine. This episode includes FFA, Halloween Treats, and Eagle's Nest. Hey Hendrix, did you know that FFA has been around for 95 years? That's interesting. Lucy Camacho gives us more. The COC building often goes unnoticed by students. However, it holds a large program in the high school. Senior Taylor Miller is one of the vice presidents of FFA. FFA is an organization designed to help kids develop skills that affect all aspects of our lives, from both working to leadership to record keeping, everything that we'll, we will use in FFA is to help us later on in our life. Tiffany Kaufman is the new FFA teacher. Um, I came from families of educators and I was very successful in my high school agriculture program and I had a lot of success and so I think that kind of instilled with me uh, my desire to teach plus I love agriculture and FFA and it's just a way to give back and have help students to have those wonderful successes. Supervised agricultural experiences play a significant role in FFA. Callie Anderson, a sophomore in FFA, lists examples. Some of the things we've had are you can do like rabbits, chickens, um, you can just take care of your dog and that could be your SAE. And we have to fill it out on record books and keep track of like all of our earnings, all of our money that we spent putting it into our SAE project. For Eagle Air, this is Lucy Camacho reporting. Haunting season is here. Adia Lancaster and Emory York show us how to make a Halloween treat. Hey Hendrix, did you know a new episode of Eagle's Nest is coming out? That's cool, let's take a peek. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Eagle Air TV. Be sure to check out the Nixon Journalism website for more content. Make sure to stay safe and you matter. We'll see you next time.